The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in the summer of 1966 in New York. Now, some of your members uh, asked me to explain uh, the meaning of this chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. <coughs> now, this sound is transcendental sound. Transcendental sound, incarnation, sound incarnation of the absolute truth. Just try to understand what is incarnation. Incarnation means the Sanskrit word uh, is avatar, and that is translated into English as incarnation. Of course, the root meaning of incarnation. Uh, I cannot exactly explain to you, but uh, the root meaning of the uh, somebody thought <coughs> the root meaning of uh, avata is which comes from the transcendental sky, the spiritual sky, to the material sky. That is called avatar. Avataran. Avataran, just like avataran means coming from up to down. That is called avatar. And avatar is, is understood that when God or his bona fide representative comes from that sky to this uh, material plane that is called abhata. So this sound, this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, is a sound representation of the Supreme Law. The, the Sadvam Khalidam Brahma. The whole thing, either material or spiritual, whatever we have got experience, nothing is separated from the Supreme Absolute Truth. Nothing is separate. Everything has emanated uh, from the Absolute Truth. Uh, come on, sit down. Uh, <coughs> But uh, just like the example, just like earth, earth, then from earth you have got food, fuel. From fuel, when you get fire, first of all there is smoke. Then after smoke there is fire. And the fire, from fire you can take water. Now, beginning from earth, from earth there is wood, from wood there is smoke, from smoke there is fire. There is a, a link between the fire and the earth. But the work of the fire, the benefit of the fire, uh, can be had at the last phase when there is real ignition of fire. Similarly, there is link. The whole uh, material cosmic situation, manifestation, what we see, it is just like the smoke, the fire is behind it, that is spiritual fire. But still, in this smoke, you can feel some heat also. 
So similarly, this uh, sound vibration of the spiritual world is here, so that even in this material world, where there is a scarcity of that spiritual fire, we can appreciate, we can feel the warmth of that fire. So this is the meaning of, in the nutshell, meaning of this, uh, I mean to say, <coughs> spiritual vibration. And uh, grammatical meaning is this, uh, all these words, sixteen words, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sixteen. Now, according to grammatical rules, when uh, somebody is addressed, just like in your English language, it is not of address is, O oh, Mr. Such and Such. Similarly, in grammar, Sanskrit grammar, the, uh, the same uh, a note of address, which is called sambodhan, uh, that is expressed uh, in, a, in this way. Uh, so, Hare, Hare is the uh, note of address form of the sound hara. Hara. Hara means the potency of the Supreme Lord. Potency. The Supreme Lord is represented everywhere by His potency. Ah, there is a nice hmm, verse in the Vishnu Pura. It is said like that. Uh, just like a fire, uh, the fire situated in one place, it distributes its heat and light. Just like take the example for the sun. The sun is located at a certain fixed up place that we can see. But the heat of the sun and the light of the sun is distributed all over the universe. Eko desa sthita sharni. Yes, the verse is like. Eko desa sthita sharni. Jatha josna vistar. Josna vistar rina jatha. Tatha. Sadvam akhilam jagat brahmana sati. Brahmana Akhilam jagat. In this world, whatever you are seeing, it is nothing but distribution of the energy of the Supreme Law. That's why you can feel the light and the uh, heat of the sun. This light and heat of the sun are different energies of the sun. The energy and the energetic, the thing from which the energy is generated and the energy, they are non different. The sun sign or the sun heat. It's not different from the sun because there is heat in the sun. Therefore, we feel the heat of sunshine, and there is light in the sun. Therefore, we see the sunshine. So, this sunshine and sun heat is not different from the sun as it is, but still it is different. Still it is different. You cannot say that because I am feeling the heat of the sun, therefore I have approached sun. No. Sun is far, far away from you. And because the sun sign has entered your room, you cannot say 
that sun has entered my room. No. Still, sunshine and sun heat is not different from the sun. Similarly, the whole creation, anything, uh, generally there are three things. Uh, the potent God and His three energies. This is the sum total. Internal energy, external energy, and marginal energy. External energy is this material manifestation. Just like this body is my external energy and soul. So my external energy is this body. Similarly, I have got my internal energy, that is my consciousness. Ah, consciousness is my internal energy. And this body and the mind and this material demonstration or manifestation is my external energy. The body has developed, the mind has developed from me, soul. Not that I, consciousness is developed from this body. No, that is a wrong conception. That is a wrong conception. You cannot develop consciousness from this body. Otherwise, a dead man could have been again revived to consciousness. Because if matter is the cause of consciousness, then the whole matter is there already. Whole matter, the dead body means so far material substance is concerned. Everything is there, present. Nothing has disappeared. Ah. If you say the, there is no blood, oh, oh, that is not very difficult thing. Blood, erased substance, do you mean to say something red injected with this, within this body will bring back the life? No. If redness is the cause of life or consciousness, then modern chemical can make immediately by chemical combination the whole thing red. Or take the example, there are many natural stones, they are by nature red. If you say that this artificial redness cannot give life, the natural redness is the cause of life. Then you take the stone, it has got natural redness, but there is no light. But there is no light. So redness is also not uh, the cause of the consciousness of the life. That is the wrong field. There is a complete consciousness is completely different uh, thing, qualitatively different. Nothing is different from one to another. Just like I have explained already that the earth, wood, then uh, smoke, then fire, everything is linked up, but everything is also different from one another. Eh? So, the whole thing, the uh, Supreme Lord is represented uh, throughout everything, whatever you see, matter or spirit or uh, anything, physical, chemical, Whatever you can give name, there are so many things. But they are not separated from God. God is linked up in everywhere. Isha Vasamidam Sadva. Just like our Bhagavad Gita we have begun. The Jena Sarva Midam Tatam. That thing which is present all over the body, that you are. So, this is individual consciousness. I am present all over my body. Similarly, the Supreme Consciousness, He is present all over the universe. All over. The, this, this is only a small manifestation of God's energy, very minute. In, in the Bhagavad Gita, I will find, Ekaṁ sinasthitu jagat. 
This jagat, jagat means this material manifestation. This material manifestation is a one-fourth part demonstration of this whole energy of the Supreme Lord. One-fourth part. So nothing is different from God. But there are certain philosophers, they say pantheists or monotheists, there are so many things. Uh, they are also believe, they believe in the Supreme, but impersonal. But we uh, followers of this uh, Krishna philosophy, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad, we do not follow that philosophy. What is that philosophy? The other, uh, other section they say, because God is distributed all over, everywhere, therefore there is no separate existence apart. <coughs> but we do not say that. We say that the example, the, that because the sun is distributed, distributing his heat and energy, therefore it, you cannot say that there is no existence of sun. Sun is separately existing. In spite of distributing for millions of years heat, the reservation of heat in the sun is intact. Ah, it is not diminished. But everyone knows that for millions and billions of years the sun is distributing heat. Nobody knows the history. How long? Uh, your distributing center, the powerhouse, if you fail to supply coal or oil, uh, then after one hour the whole New York City will be dark. Uh, so just you can imagine who is supplying the fuel in the heat of the sun so that for millions and billions of years this heat of the sun is in the same temperature. So this is only one of the creation of the God, God's creation. But just imagine, if God's creation is so unlimited and so much energy, then how much energetic and how much powerful is the Creator? Ah. That is to be seen. These, these things are to be thought. In everything, everything we can have God consciousness. Ah. If uh, this watch is a so wonderful workman see, and we we are um, struck with wonder how nicely it is giving time, how the machine is adjusted. Now, uh, before appreciating this watch, uh, how much we have to appreciate the person who has discovered this watch? How much brain he has got? Uh, before appreciating a powerful brain in this world, one should appreciate who has given him this powerful brain. If the man has attained that powerful brain out of his own accord, then great powerful brain, like Professor Einstein, Sir Jagadish the most, they could create another brain like them, so that in their absence, there would not have been scarcity of scientists and powerful brains. But they, they could not do that. Therefore they are not creator of the powerful brain. The powerful brain is gift of the supreme powerful brain. So in every respect, if we think, this is called philosophy, if we have got thoughtful uh, propensities, 
if we can little think over every matter, we will find that God is present everywhere. And still He is personally present in His own place. The same example. The sun is present everywhere by heat and light. Is still sun. The sun has its own location. That you cannot deny. Similarly, God is present everywhere. Not only everywhere. We learn from Brahma Sanghita. Ekapasauratayatam jagadanna koti jachatirasti jagadanna chaya jadantam annantarastham paramana chaya antarastham govindam adipurusam tamaham bhajami this govinda anadiradi govinda so the prayer is i was in that govinda Sarva karana karanam. Karana, who is the cause of all causes? Cause of all causes. Now, in this verse of Brahma Sanghita, we find that one of his plenary portion uh, in the uh, Vedic hymns, we find that God has become many, eka bhushyam. God is one without second, but He has become Himself many. Uh, uh, we are also God. Uh, out of that many, we are one. We are one. We are not separate from God. Uh, so, but there are amounts in many, uh, there is a difference of uh, potency. Difference of potency. Just like what you can do, I cannot do. Your workmanship may not be equal with my workman. Your brain work may not be equal to my brain work. There are differences. Each and every living entity uh, they are different from each other, so far individual capacities are concerned. So in spite of many, that is God's creation, in spite of many, each and everything we will find uh, there is some difference. Uh, you can sit down at a place in New York and go on counting and seeing uh, all people passing before you. You won't find one man is exactly like the other. Ah. Not only that, and in court you know everyone of you know that they take impression of the left hand thumb impression. And this thumb impression, you go on taking millions and millions of thumb impressions, and you won't find one thumb impression is exactly like the other. And because there is difference of thumb impression, therefore the identity is taken in that way. That this particular man's thumb impression, even if he denies his signature, the thumb impression will collaborate that he, he is a signature is this. So that is God's creation. Uh, uh, similarly, there are two kinds of expansion of the law. One kind of expansion is called Vishnu Tattva. Vishnu Tattva means the expansion. They are as equal as the God Himself. And there are expansions which are called the uh, Jiva Tattva, the living entities. This, this expansion of the living entities they are not equally part. But the expansion of Vishnu Tattva is equally powerful, as good as God Himself. So, the incarnation. Incarnation of God means 
the expansion which is as good as God Himself. That is called incarnation. So, this, uh, and the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, is the expansion, incarnation, sound incarnation of God. It is expansion, and a plenary expansion, sound, sound representation, not representation. God present Himself in in this form of sound, uh, because we cannot see God with our present eyes. Present eyes, because. This is not our proper eyes. They are material eyes. Ah. You, 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 you don't think that this eye, uh, I mean the, uh, the transparent thing which is floating in this, uh, I mean to say, hole, uh, uh, that is not seeing. Ah. And similarly, if you can present or if you take this eye, uh, or he, you uh, um, um, cannot see, that, that cannot see. Uh, it is simply a, 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 a lens only. It is only lens. So none of this body, bodily part, is actually uh, the thing which is um, um, taking part. Uh, so therefore, with this eye, with this material eye, you cannot see. Atasya Krishna Namadi Namabhis Gajya Indriya. The present senses, the present senses cannot uh, have any knowledge of the Supreme God. But how then we can have knowledge? If, uh, if my senses are unfit, then how can I make it fit? Oh, that is the thing. Uh, that is the thing that you have to spiritualize, spiritualize this uh, material sense and, I mean, organs. And then when you spiritualize, then you can uh, have the spiritual vision and see God in yourself. The same example which I have recited many times, just like the iron rod, Iron rod you put into the fire, it gets warm, warm, warmer, warmer. And when it is uh, red hot, then it is no longer iron. Iron it is, but it does not act as iron, but it acts as fire. That iron rod, which is red hot in association with fire, you can take that rod and touch anything, it will burn. That means it is no longer acting as iron, it is acting as fire. Similarly, if you associate with this transcendental incarnation, sound incarnation of God, then you will be gradually godly. In the godly. Uh, you can become godly with God's association, not by any other material extraneous thing. No. Uh, that's like you can have fire only in association with fire, not with water. If you want to get yourself warm, then you have to associate with fire, not with water, not with air. Similarly, if you want to spiritualize your vision, if you want to spiritualize your action, if you want to spiritualize the whole constitution of your existence, then you have to associate with the Supreme Spirit. 
and that supreme spirit is very kind because he is everything that I, we have already explained. Everything is interrelated with the supreme. Therefore, he is interrelated with sound also. So, by God's inconceivable potency, he can present before yourself in sound incarnation. That is his potency. That is his potency. He can do that. And, and therefore, this name, Krishna, and the Supreme Lord Krishna, there is no difference. So our, this sound representation of the Supreme Lord constantly will make us, uh, just like our association with the fire, the, I mean to say, iron rods association with the fire makes the rod you know, equally qualified. Exactly, not equally qualified, but almost the quality of burning it gets. Similarly, uh, by our constant association uh, with Lord, Lord is not only incarnation in a sound form, uh, he, he, he is incarnated in many other forms, in many other forms. Just like uh, archa. Archa means the form of the Lord situated, I mean to say, established in some temple and worshipped. That is also incarnation of God. That is not idol worship. Uh, people who do not know that uh, hmm, uh, this is an authorized uh, process of realizing God, or they have never tasted or practiced it, <coughs> they cannot understand. They say, it is idol worship. No, it is not idol worship. It is not idol worship. Oh. I will give you one example. Just like in the front of your door, there is a box, a uh, U.S. mail. It is written. And you put your letters within that box, and after few days you get reply from your friend that I have received your letter and uh, it is such and such, such and such. Now, if somebody puts another box like that, exactly imitation, uh, then why shall I uh, spend postage? to putting letters in this box, U.S. man, I require postage. And by the oh, why shall I not put up a box like that? Eh, let me prepare a box like that, so that it can go without postage. I want to save postage. Now he is going on putting letters in that without postage, and then after some time he sees all the letters are lying there. It has not been dispatched, because it is imitation. And the, uh, the box which is supplied by the post office, that is authorized. In the matter, in material, you will find this box and that imitation box is the same thing. Uh, so, this is a science, you see. Uh, although we find that uh, this form of the Lord and uh, the Hindus, they have established one statue in the temple, and they are worshipping as the Lord. Ah, how is that? Is it Lord? Is it stone? It is wood? Ah. But he does not know that because it is authorized, because it is authorizedly worship, therefore even it is stone or wood, it can act. It can act. Ah. Just like the authorized post office, although seemingly it is a box which I can prepare, but it is acting because it is authorized. Similarly, the authorized, authorized uh, symbol or representation of God, 
is also God. He is not different from God. Then why God is like that? It is His mercy. Because I cannot see God with, with my these eyes. I can see stone and wood and, and, and material things. Therefore, God is kind enough eh, in a form suitable to my seeing and accept myself. It is His kindness. And besides that, if everything is God, because everything has a, a, a link with the God, with the, uh, the Supreme Truth, then if God being omnipotent, why He cannot represent Himself in everything? If everything is God, everything is emanation of God, then God has got the power to manifest Himself in everything. That is His omnipotency. So these are considerations. Uh, so the explanation of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, is addressing, addressing the Supreme Lord through the energy. Uh, hara, Hara is the energy, internal energy. Just like when there is, a, of course, in your country there is no sun worship, but hmm, in India uh, there are um, persons who are sun worshippers. So they worship sun with so many things, and they, there is a lamp also. Now, this lamp is a light, but it is being offered for satisfying the sun. The sun is so lightful, this light is merely insignificant before the sunlight. It is still, uh, because I have no other means, I am getting a sunlight imitation of that light and offering, and that offering is accepted. But these are spiritual conceptions when we um, <coughs> gradually make our uh, progressive um, advancement, uh, these things will be realized. But for the present, uh, we can uh, take this uh, instruction from author, authorized scripture that atasri krishna namadi navavid gayam indriyai sevan mukhihi jivhado sameva spurattava. The God's name, the God's form, God's quality, God's paraphernalia, God's entourage, like that. And anything in relation to God cannot be realized with our present sense. But when we are in service attitude, then God is so merciful. He is so pleased that our teeny efforts to realize Him uh, attracts Him. And He becomes manifested gradually as we make our progress in spiritual service or devotional service. So this method, chanting, chanting of the uh, transcendental name of the Supreme Lord, is a part of devotional service. There are nine kinds of devotional services, eh, of which Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasivanam, Archanam, Vannanam, Dasam, Sakham, Atmani, Vidanam. These are different nine processes. Savanam, Kirtanam. Savanam means hearing. And kīrtana means chanting, chanting. So by this process, just like uh, I chant and you hear, and you chant and I hear, parasparam, bodhantam parasparam. This is the factual uh, activities of devotion 
in devotional society. This bodhantam parasparam. I chant, you hear, and you chant, I hear. So by this process, the transcendental name, the sound incarnation of the Supreme Law, become manifest. Manifest so that we can realize God simply by chanting and hearing. Simply by chanting and hearing. That will be realized. Of course, there are hmm, some um, rules and regulations for chanting. But in the uh, beginning, uh, we have, haven't got to observe these rules and regulations at the present. First of all, let us have the test for chanting. And then uh, we shall be little careful that mm, uh, that the rules and regulations are false. In the beginning, if we stick up to the rules, rules and regulations are subordinate. Subordinate. That's like you enter into your office. You are appointed in some office to work. Uh, so on the very day, you do not know all the rules and regulations. Uh, but uh, because you do not know all the rules and regulations, that does not mean that you cannot be appointed. First of all, let you let yourself be appointed. Now working, working yourself, you know that rules and regulations. This is the rule and this is the regulation. Ah. Ah, just like in my life, I uh, say one instance, when I, my, when I met my spiritual master, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj, ah, so as a gentleman, means as a gentleman, so he was sitting in a coach like that. <coughs> so and I also sat down on that very coach. So mm. I did not know that what are the rules and regulations. <laughs> now when I saw that his other disciples are coming and they are sitting down, so I thought myself, oh, I have done this song. I should not have sat with uh, His uh, Divine Grace. So, of course, I did not get down immediately, <laughs> but uh, I, I took it and from next day I did not see. So rules and regulations uh, automatically were taught. Uh, so that rules and regulations uh, is not very important. Uh, the important is, the thing is that we must take up. Ah. The first rules and regulation is that we must have some attachment for this. Attachment for this. Then automatically rules and regulation we shall learn. There will be no difficulty. Ah. So this uh, transcendental power, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, uh, you don't think uh, that I have come here it is my personal manufacture. No, it is not. No. It is not my personal manufacture. It is authorized, just like the post box. It is authorized because all previous acharyas, all previous authorized persons in this life, they have done it. Just like, see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ah, he is chanting and dancing. Chanting and dancing. It is the same thing. The picture is before you so that gradually when you feel ecstasy, you will also dance like him. And when you automatically dance, then you know that the thing is already realized. Not artificially, but when you feel, oh, let me dance. It is so much ecstasy, let me dance. Nothing should be done artificially. Let everything come automatically. And only we have to follow. Mahajana jina gatasya pantha dharmasya tattang nihitam guhayam mahajina gatasya pantha This is a verse from scripture 
that tapko hmm. apartishtha if you simply go on uh, arguing about a spiritual matter this is not this is not this is not this is yes this is not uh, i say something you say something no no you cannot realize spiritual object simply by this speculation argument uh, our argument our logical uh, i mean to say Hmm. Strength has no access in the spiritual world. The Vedic mantra says, "Na yamata pravasani na labhya, na medhya na bhuna akshite na." Atma, the supreme self, cannot be realized. Ah, pravasani na. Suppose I am very expert speaker. I can present things very nicely, but without any substance. Oh, that won't help you. Ah, simply by jugglery of words, if I can captivate you, oh, that won't help you. Na ma apna pravachan hai na. This is pravachan. Of course, we are delivering speeches from authoritative book, Bhagavad Gita. I am not speaking before you of my own imagination. I am speaking from the authorized book. That which is not exactly perpetual. Neither I am uh, squeezing out some meaning for my my purpose. I am just presenting you oh, the same principle, Mahajana Jena Datasta Pantha. As Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu priest. I am trying to present the same thing before you in a different language only. That's all. Uh, because in India he preached in Sanskrit. Uh, he was a very large scholar in such formally any big man, any big scholar, they would be big scholar in Sanskrit. The Sanskrit was the written language. Uh, even a In the beginning of the British period, ah, Sanskrit was a written language. It is the policy of Lord Macaulay that he transformed the whole attitude. They made a plan that if Indians remain as Indians, then we cannot rule over. Ah, then we cannot rule over. We must make them Anglicized. So that policy was followed for two hundred years. So India has lost its religion, culture. So uh, therefore, uh, the original point is that tarko pratistha. We cannot realize the supreme truth simply by argument or logical presentation or philosophical speculation. No. Takwa pratishta sutayo vibhinna. Sutayo means scriptures. Now, uh, say for example, Bhagavad Gita and your Bible and the Mahavadans, they will present uh, Quran. So, of course, uh, then this Bhagavad Gita is a little different from Vedic scripture uh, that we have already explained. It is a independent something. Universal. So Vedic scripture, Quran, Bible, or Zoroastrian. So there are so many religions, Buddhist religion, so many. So there may be some difference of opinion. Sutayo bhinna, bhinna means different. Now you cannot realize the absolute truth simply by your mundane arguments and by your logical strength. Neither. You can catch up the right thing by reading different scriptures. Sutta ve bhinna naso munit jasya matangna bhinnam. And if you follow great philosophers, great thinkers, then also you will find one thinker is different from another thinker. One philosopher is differing from another philosopher. So whom to follow? This philosopher says that the God is 
person, another philosopher says God is the impersonal, another philosopher says that uh, God is everywhere, uh, there is no separate existence of God. So many philosophies there are in the world. And one, one person is not actually philosopher if he does not differ from other philosophers. That is the philosophical basic principle. Uh, you are a philosopher, if, if I cannot make your philosophical conclusion null and void and make my philosophy established, then I am not a philosopher. You see, that is the way going on. Naso munit jasya matamana vindam. He is not a philosopher if he cannot present a separate theory. He is not a philosopher. Then how to catch up the absolute truth? What is the way? That dharmasya tattvam mihitam guhāyam. Therefore, the absolute truth is concealed within your heart. Mihitam guhāyam. Now, mahājana jena datasya pantha. You just try to follow the great personalities, what they are doing. What they are doing. Now about this Mahajan, uh, there is also uh, difference of opinion who is Mahajan. And so far our uh, Vedic culture is concerned, there are a specific mention uh, Mahajan. And so far Lord Krishna is concerned, so there is no two opinions about his authority. So that the whole world. And so far we are concerned. Hindus or the followers of the Vedic religion. Uh, there is no difference of opinion so far Krishna's authority is concerned. Uh, there are five authorities, recognized authorities in India. So far, uh, I mean, this is spiritual life is concerned. Uh, one of them is, see, Ramanujacharya, uh, and other is Sankaracharya. The other is Madhya Acharya, other is Vishnu Shana, and other is Nimba Nimba Principally. The whole and uh, I mean some of them uh, flourished say two thousand years before, some of them one thousand five hundred years before, some uh, some of them eleven hundred years before, uh, just like um, uh, there are different ages they have come. But all of them, in spite of of their cunning in different ages. They all are in one opinion, Krishna to Bhagavan son. Krishna, Lord Krishna is the supreme personality of God. Just like we have cited Ishara Parama Krishna. The supreme controller, the supreme Lord is Krishna. Now you can see from his presentation of this Bhagavad Gita how supreme he is. Uh, he spoke this truth five thousand years before, and for continually for five thousand years all scholars are studying these scriptures. I'm studying very devotedly to understand it. You know our present uh, president in India, Dr. Radha Krishna, he is a renowned scholar of the world. Uh, Dr. Radha Krishna. When he came into your country, uh, uh, your president, uh, late Mr. Kennedy, oh, he welcomed him as his own teacher. Because when Mr. Kennedy was a student in the Oxford University, Dr. Radha Krishna was a visiting professor. Uh, in the open meeting, Mr. Kennedy admitted that now uh, Dr. Radha Krishna has come as the president. That he is always my teacher. He's still my teacher. It was very kind of him that he received him as a teacher, not as contemporary. See, even that Dr. Radha Krishna, he is also studying this Bhagavad Gita. Very, I mean, it's profound. You know, your Professor Einstein, oh, he was a profound, I mean, to say, student of this Bhagavad Gita. Hitler was a great student of Bhagavad Gita. So many in all the country. 
There are so many Mahamedans in India. Oh, they are a devout student of Bhagavad Gita. I know one uh, doctor, um, uh, Ibrahim, from Alavan University. Oh, he is so devoted to Lord Krishna that on the birthday of Lord Krishna, he must write one nice article and publish in the paper. So, this instruction that Mahajana Jena Gatasapantha, we, we, we cannot have the knowledge of the absolute truth simply by argument or simply by philosophy or simply by big brain or speaking power. No, no, all these things will not do. Uh, simply we have to follow the great authority. Yeah, Lord Krishna, Lord Chaitanya, he introduced this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, for this age. Uh, and he recommended, Kalo, not recommended by his own brain, but it is recommended in the scripture. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, you are Kevalam, Kalo, Nasteva, 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 Bhutidam, uh, If you want to realize uh, the supreme truth, then you must chant this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Uh, whenever you get, sir. Harin Nama, Harin Nama, Harin Nama, you are cable. Only this. And if you think of only this, why not other? No. Kalo Nastiva, 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 Gatinanata. Nastiva means there is no alternative. And he repeats this no alternative, no alternative, no alternative. Three times. Three times. That means he is giving too much stress. So, and our process is like that that we are following a great personality, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He introduced, uh, he introduced from the scripture, not in his own way. Nothing should be accepted which is not recognized, you see. So this is recognized method. Now, it, 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 it depends on us. Let us follow this process and see how we are making progress uh, in this spiritual path. Thank you very much. It is now if there is any question you can write.
गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरी बनधारी यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन ಜಯಂತಿ जमुना माई की जय द्वारका धाम की जय सौवीत भक्तविंद की जय और ग्लोरी श्री जैसे मिले और ग्लोरी श्री जैसे थैंक यू वेरी मच